Following total atomic annihilation. Welcome back to Just Nukem Gaming. This is Nuke here. So today I'm bringing you a special episode. So I'm actually being joined by a very special guest for me. I'm being joined by my daughter, Allison, here with me. Say hi, Allison. Hi. Alright, so we're actually going to be doing a new little format we're going to be trying out. We're actually going to be playing some older retro style games. And I'm not going to be playing this time, so it's actually be my daughter Allison here is going to be picking up the controller this time. She's going to be checking these out. A lot of these games will be her first look looking at these, so she's going to see what she thinks of them. Kind of get some ideas of what she sees some older, older stuff kind of feels to her. Uh, tell me a little bit about what your gaming experience is, Allison. Uh, well, not, not that cool because I just play Roblox, not video games. Alright, so you're not much of a gamer then. At least not yet. Uh, mostly you play some mobile games on your tablet. Uh, we know we have been picking up the controller a bit and playing a bit more stuff like uh, Overcooked and a few other games like that. Occasionally some Mortal Kombat, things like that. So you're not too experienced. I on the other hand been playing for a very, very long time. Like 35 years. So my first system was called the Atari 2600. It was a long, long time ago. Been playing ever since. So as far as retro games, we're kind of looking for this. We're going to be looking at mostly stuff since before you were born. So you were born in 2012, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the year you were born, the system that came out was called the Nintendo Wii U. Then the year afterwards when the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One came out. So we're going to be looking at games kind of before that area. Uh, each week we're going to do either kind of a theme or we may just look at one big game. All right. So this week we're actually going to be looking all the way back to the Nintendo area. And we're going to be looking at Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, Super Mario Bros. was actually the game that kind of kicked off with Nintendo. And Super Mario Bros. 3 was actually kind of the last big title for the Nintendo before they moved on to the SNES. Yep. Alright. So how much experience do you have with this game here? 5%. Okay, so just a little bit. This is something you have taken a look at. You you know who Mario is on the basis of all that he's at. So how much about Mario do you really know? Not a lot. Alright. So while you're kind of playing, I'm going to tell you a little bit about his background. So you might have to run and jump. button on the switch controller and let you run. Now, now move. Now let you do your run. Uh. So Mario's very first time he's ever appeared was in a game called Donkey Kong, which was an arcade game. Uh, originally, he wasn't even supposed to be the main character of that game. It was actually intended to be a cartoon character named Popeye. You know who 
Popeyes, right? No. He's the sailor guy. Your mom's watching you those cartoons. He's the spinach. Popeye the sailor man. Oh. I think you've seen a couple of those. But they couldn't secure the rights to it. You got jump. <laughs> I tried to jump. Okay. They couldn't secure the rights to him, so they created what was supposed to be intended to be a placeholder character, which was Mario here. And they wanted to have an instruction looking guy, so they you know, threw on a guy's overall little hat. Kind of something I might see. You know, in New York, working on some of the big high rise buildings back in the day. Uh, then after that, they started including him in other games. He was just supposed to be a. Uh, have a generic play folder. Oh okay, dear, just keep crying. He really didn't have a particular name. They were just going to kind of throw him in random games. He was just going to be there. Um, eventually, later they made another game called just Mario Brothers, which is another arcade game where two people just kind of played head to head against each other. We should do that whole run sometimes. Okay. Now, in the beginning of the 80s, there was a really big thing that happened. It was called the video game crash in the 80s. Which, here in the US at least, we just about lost video games as we know it. And that was due to People making lots and lots and lots of bad games, putting them out there. People making a lot of markets. They were over manufacturing what they could sell. Basically caused the economy to crash. I'm not good at this. You just gotta practice. So I'm gonna tell you a secret. Games back in this day were a lot harder. But people got good at them because we didn't have a lot of other games. So you just play the same game over and over and over for lots on that. That's how they got good. They didn't have like little app stores like we do today where you can download free little games to try out. Whatever your parents bought you for Christmas or your birthday, that was all you had to play with. Usually for a very long time. But there was a lot of quality of life stuff that wasn't readily available back then. So you see on this one you have limited lives, which is something you don't see a lot in games nowadays. You lost the usher. No, the It's okay. I'm gonna show you a secret. Able to jump on top of this pipe. Get to the middle of it and push and hold down. Oh. Yeah, you went too fast. It's okay. crashing, people are buying, retailers didn't want to sell them. At least here in America, the Nintendo has started making this over in Japan, has some success in one bring it over here. But go to the middle of that pipe and hold down. You're gonna push down, but you can go right to the middle. Oh, no, no. Right in the middle of the pipe. I think it's this one right here. Jump on him. I'm gonna jump on top of this pipe. Oh, oh. no. What? Okay, we'll have to do it on the next turn. You have to die. I don't like that part. I can't walk. I mean, jump. Oh. Well, you gotta practice. That's what a lot of these games work. Yeah, I'm gonna. Take you a little bit to show you that. Sometimes it's about the patience. Next pipe. 
You don't have to kill every enemy. Oh. That's bad. The game has both scenes now. The Nintendo brought their game system over and they rebranded it as a child's toy. So they can appeal to different markets. The original game was kind of more horror. Working system for kind of important adults a lot. And this was the game that came with the system. Here in America, it was more uh, this and another game called Duck Hunt. They have the wrong set of cartridge. And this proved to be a really, really big game and basically saved the console gaming industry here in America. Because that Mario became a very big iconic character. Power. Don't, don't lose it. The house. Oh, jump up. There you go. Oh, what's the power? So you hit B button. B? Oh. That allows you to shoot fireballs. Hit that block. Oh, the no, black. Don't worry about it. It's, it's already gone. Oh, you're first. You should have shot them. I tried to. I tried to. It didn't let me. You just gotta be patient. Mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. See now, because you weren't big when you hit that block, I gave you the mushroom instead of the fire flower. Them, though. There you go. Yes. So now if you can chain a whole bunch of points together, you can actually earn extra lives. Oh. It's okay. It's not like games you're used to. Alright, so tell me what your impressions are so far. It's hard, not cool, and yeah, it's just hard. Yeah, they were back in the day. These... Wait, we have to restart again? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and quit on this one. I think you got enough taste of that. One of the things I'll tell you is that if you ever go back and play old games, these aren't the best ones to go back and play. They didn't age very well. But they have very important history. So let's go ahead and we're going to try out Super Mario Brothers 3. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead and hit start. Okay. One player? Yep. says one. One? Yep. How? Go up. There you go. Then A. Oh. Did it. Alright, so as you can see, this world already looks a lot better than the other one. Gives you kind of show what something released at the beginning of the system versus something 
at least before you kind of end up the system's livestock can really make a big difference. Okay, jump on that turtle. Dang it. Push the, oh no, no, no. You wanted to push the shell the other way. It's okay, it's okay, it's too late now. We'll get on the next go. Why can't I pop that one? It sounds much better. Yeah, it's because they got more and more practice with what they were working with. The game developers were able to learn how to get more and more out of the system as the years went by. few things that we ended up seeing a lot in the Mario franchise, such as the world map, which we saw before, instead of just being level-based. Oh. Yeah, don't, you have to kill everybody. You can actually just move on. How? You just keep walking. But they're fine. It don't matter. You just ignore them. Okay. Sometimes it's better just to leave them than to die. This game also introduced a lot more varieties when it came to Mushroom, it. Mushroom. Hurry, hurry. Oops. Oh, you barely got it. It also brought a lot more varieties to the... Yeah, so you can't touch the enemies, you can only jump on top. Even those enemies, oh. you can't even jump on top. Oh, God. I don't like this already. This game brought a big selection of power-ups to get different types of Mario's with different abilities. But I don't like when they fly. Well, you just ignore the flying enemies. No, 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 we we'll should So just... The trick to these guys is you just run up right next to the pipe and just stay on the ground next to the pipe. No, we jump up there. So yeah, because you weren't big Mario, you just get a regular mushroom. Yep. Oh, see? Fine, you just ignore him. Oh, you just ignore him, you just keep running. You didn't even have to jump up there. See the drops. I'm gonna show you a few, a few little tricks as we're down to our last life. So these guys, you just stand right there until it shoots. And as long as you're standing right there, they're generally not going to come back up. That turtle push the shell that way. Oh. No, he was off screen. You missed. <laughs> Why does Mario have to be big? Well, that was his, basically his second life. Huh? That allows you to take one hit from enemies. Okay. Oh, there we go. Got another one. Oh, that's... So now we can, by hitting the B button, we can hit enemies when they're next to us. Oh, okay. And we could have used our tail to hit all these blocks right here. Where did those blocks do They were just giving us points and coins and things like that. Okay. Run in. Hit that. That gets them blocked.
jump over. little secrets that she's had played. Find out. Let's go. Back then, we didn't have internet or anything. We, now you found secrets. You just played and lucked out. Oh. You talk to your friends, and they would say, hey, did you ever find that little thing where you jump right here? And like, no, I never found that. That's how you found out a lot of secrets. Yeah, it's 
Sometimes it skips its head a little. Not always. Super, super long. <laughs> but there's a lot of different worlds. And they each have different names and looks. Oh, I still have to pay. Yep. So you'll keep your power up between your levels. So just keep running. Just leave that guy. Oh, that's why? Yep. Yeah. Use your tail. To the, to the left. What do you mean? Oh. There you go. Drop down there. Yeah. I use your tail on the block. There you go. Oh no, you're stuck. You're stuck. No, no. no you can jump and hit the block. Alright. I thought it was really stuck. Dang it. Just, just keep going. Don't let him keep hitting you. different power-ups and you can use them before you go into levels if you want to be Big Mario or Frog Suit or Raccoon Suit or Tanuki Suit. But we don't have any power-ups. That's why this that whole thing's playing. So I want you to go down. Back to the that imp. Go down. So you could play a little mini game here. Hit A. Hit the A button to stop them. Time that you can make a. So you got a star, so you won't want the middle one to be a star too. That's good. You just gotta do one more. So that's not a star. Nope, you only got one chance. You go up. So if you don't like World 3, you could actually go to World 4 if you want to. I went to World 3. Okay, so jump up on the turtle. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, okay. you gotta remember where everything's at. Now, let me see if I can show you one more secret. If I can get there without dying. If you hold the B oh, button. You can hold that? Yeah. If you hold the B button, you can pick up the shell. Can you get that? No. Oh. Yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. I remember if there's one of those little pee box in here. have to do some exploring fun stuff. That's how it got stuff back then. Oh, 
Yeah, that was on me. So yeah, as you see, we have to start all the way over. Sad. I know. But there are a few places, like if you destroy the little castles, it'll remember that you everything you did so far. So you don't have to redo everything all the time. But anything before those castles, yeah. Alright, so we'll go ahead and quit there, dear. So you want to tell me what you think about this one? It's cool. It's it's better than the last one. The sound is so much better. And the color is good. But it's still hard. Yeah, a lot of these games are. And these are tough to go back for. And I don't like when it has to start all over again. So yeah. That's a lot of stuff they improved a lot over the years of the games. Thankfully. But you can kind of see where this was really big stuff here in gaming. Because Mario really saved console gaming as we know it, otherwise we wouldn't have it. Yeah, he really saved everything. So, and he's one of the biggest, most iconic characters out there. Uh, Super Mario's, even though you saw it was a pretty rough game, a lot of times it's considered one of the best games of all time. That's just because of what he did, what it all started and everything. Alright guys, so yeah, that was a look at Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers 3. Join us next time, we'll take a look at something different, uh, maybe some different systems, some different type of games, maybe even some different genres. That we kind of get a little taste of everything, see what you like. Don't worry, there's a lot of old games you can try out. Alright guys, so we'll go ahead and end the episode there. I do appreciate y'all for joining me. And Allison, uh, we'll definitely be back for some more episodes. Right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It helps out the channel a lot. Want to say bye, Allison? Bye. All right, guys. We'll see y'all next time.